Hello, welcome back to another episode of the VitNerd. Today I'm going to cover doing a firmware update on your FujiNet device for the Atari 8-bit computer. Now, if you're not sure what the FujiNet is, I'm not sure why you're watching this particular video. Uh, obviously, you must be curious, so a couple things. Uh, it is a uh, multi-peripheral uh, adapter for the Atari 8-bit com 8 computers. Uh, emulating a disk drive, cassette drive, printer modem, so forth, so forth, so forth. Uh, SD card in it, uh, SD card slot, and also a Wi-Fi modem to connect out to the internet. Some pretty cool stuff. Now, it is made by the community uh, at large out there. And uh, they started with the Atari 8-bit computers, but they are going to be making it, or actually still working on it uh, right now for the Coleco uh, Atom and then uh, Apple II, the Commodore, and so forth. Now, as I said, it's from the community, and they're uh, upgrading the hardware here and there and the firmware for uh, squashing bugs, adding features, tweaking things. And if you get one of these, I mean, hopefully you have one of them now, and that's why you're watching the video, you want to update the firmware on it. So go ahead and grab your Atari 8-bit computer, your FujiNet, and let's get into updating this. Okay, uh, you've got your Atari 8-bit computer, you've got it all plugged in, you've got your FujiNet plugged in. I've already booted mine up here. And go ahead and pause if you're not there yet you'll get to the main screen on the FujiNet and at the bottom left you'll see C for config. If you press that, uh, we're not going to update the firmware from here, we're just going to take a look at what firmware uh, we are running. And you can see on my screen here I'm running 0.5.BA2F6751. That's a mouthful. And if you take a look over here on the, uh, well I'm running a Mac, if you go to fujinet.online slash download, you will find that they list the latest firmware. And right now, at the time of this recording, they released one today on January 3rd, and it's uh, 0.5.76A2AF1A. So I am behind at some point here, so I want to go ahead and update my firmware. If you're running this, which uh, I just read off there, you can see on the screen, then uh, you're all good for now. But, you know, follow along. You're going to eventually want to update your firmware. I'm going to go ahead and turn my Atari off. Unplug the firmware. Firmware. Unplug. Well, the firmware is in here. Uh, unplug the FujiNet that has the old firmware. And let's go back to this web page on the... Again, I'm running on a Mac, but uh, whatever browser you're in, it gives you some information here that if you're running uh, a standard FujiNet, perhaps you bought uh, online, uh, all pre-made, this Flash firmware software will work with that. If you didn't buy that and you built your own, because that's the cool thing about this, it's uh, created by a community, and if you went and got the parts, you could create your own FujiNet. Uh, you're going to have to build and flash the code manually uh, yourself there. Now, again, we've got the latest firmware version here. And let's go down further. Uh, there's some notes for Windows users if you're having trouble. And you may need to install a USB to UART driver, which I had to do on my Mac here. Uh, you can go to the web page uh, for that, and you can see... There's Windows drivers, Mac drivers, different Windows drivers. And let's see. It's definitely worth going through and reading all the instructions on here. You're going to want to scroll down here and install the Flash software for whatever system you're using, uh, Windows, Mac, Linux. I've already installed it on my MacBook here. Now, the next important thing is having a good USB cable. This should update the firmware in a very short period of time, you know, 20 seconds, a minute, and something like that. Uh, if you're finding it's taking too long, then you've got uh, either something wrong uh, on the computer, you didn't install the driver uh, for a, a serial port off your computer, uh, recommended to work with the FujiNet. 
uh, or you have a, a not so good USB cable. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start up the FujiNet Flash software. And you can see here, serial port, there is nothing noted. I haven't plugged this in yet. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in now. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And there we are. It now finds the serial port that uh, connection, the UART that is in the FujiNet. And the software, the nice thing about this uh, firmware flash software is it just goes and finds the latest version of FujiNet. So you don't have to grab it, download it, put it in a special folder or whatever. You just have to download uh, the flashing software on your particular computer, boot it up, get it to connect to the serial port, the UART in the FujiNet, and then you just click Flash FujiNet Firmware. And you can follow along. You can see it's going pretty fast. Well, uh, as it says, uh, this may take a while. In the meantime, just talk amongst yourself. We'll go ahead and speed this up here. Okay, moving right along again. Moving along to the next few steps. Okay, great. Okay, and then if you back up here, we can see it's done. Flashing is complete. Now, I didn't time that. That took a minute, maybe a minute and a half, two minutes tops. So let's go ahead and uh, disconnect the FujiNet. And plug it back in our Atari. Uh, let's boot that up. Okay, we're booted up to the main screen now. And let's press C to take a look. And I am running, oh, this is funny. So the web page says 5.7 and uh, the computer says uh, 5.F. Let me go ahead and refresh the computer page. Yep, as I see here, it's actually pretty funny between the uh, uh, maybe an hour ago that I had uh, last refreshed the web page screen, uh, the FujiNet version has actually uh, gone up. It's 5.F8. Uh, as I see over here, 5.F8 uh, just came out shortly ago. So that's how fast uh, the community and um, quite often uh, Thomas Cherry Holmes, who's doing uh, the majority of the programming for this, uh, probably sitting somewhere in the world and just uploaded the latest firmware while I was doing this. Uh, so uh, you can see it's not that hard to update the firmware on your FujiNet. You just need a, a good USB cable, a Windows computer, a Mac computer, and um, access to the internet. That's, that's all you need. Uh, of course, check back uh, often to the FujiNet.online slash download to see uh, what changes have happened. And uh, eventually you're going to, you know, decide that you're uh, going to want to update again the firmware on your FujiNet. So uh, that was a short video for now, but I, I thought it'd be useful. So thanks for watching and uh, take care. Yeah.